Hey everyone, it's Jenny here at Spruce and Gussie, and today I am in Uptown Whittier, California at the Little Shed Quality Home Goods. I am going to take you on a brief tour of the shop and you're going to get to see where my vintage clothing is set up. This is where I have my pop-up rack for anyone that's been curious. If you didn't already know, the Little Shed is my sister and brother-in-law shop. They've been here for just about six years, I think. There's the sign. There's the outside. Always really precious window displays. You can see my clothing through the window. That's always exciting for me. All right, let's go in. So I'm just gonna give you a brief tour of the shop and then I will show you uh, my vintage pop-up rack. If you ever come here, you will be taken aback by how incredible it smells. So uh, it's Halloween season here at the Little Shed. Spooky season is here. We have Halloween items. I love this moon guy. I'm gonna have to take him home with me. This is a kitchen section. Anything you could need for the kitchen is here. Greeting cards. If you know anybody that's getting married, we have some bridal items here. All of the florals that you could ever need, faux florals. <coughs> You'll have to excuse the noise. It is a busy street and it is the afternoon as I'm filming this. There's this beautiful baby section, really beautiful baby toys and gifts here. And then we are going to move on to Christmas. It's been Christmas in here since July and more Christmas is coming. Just really beautiful items. I've already picked up a few, of course. It is definitely merry and bright in here. So my favorite section in the store has always been, and will probably always be the candle section. The Little Shed carries a very high quality selection of candles by a company named Votivo and a company named Bridgewater. I'm pretty certain I've tested almost all of these scents. They are all approved. More Christmas items. Halloween ghosty, so cute. This section here is kind of like a mishmash of things. A lot of gift items for like, you could get something for your bestie, you could get something for your mom. A lot of inspirational items. If you need a little, need a little something to look at to cheer you up. There's a lot of fun inspirational signs in here like start that thing on that candle never stop dreaming i think i gotta get this here's the jewelry section there's a really lovely section of jewelry by primitives by kathy here's another favorite section of mine it's the dog and cat section because you know our pets deserve to have the nicer things in life too actually really want this candle too it says grace and gratitude i'm sorry that wasn't the pet section the pet section is over here <laughs> well it's kind of kind of combined all kinds of fun pet stuff and then here we have uh, like another like a barware section so if you need anything for you know if you're doing charcuterie or you have wine bottles things of that nature there's also a men's grooming section. So you want to get something for your dude. Got you covered. We have a plant. There's a plant section for all the plant moms and dads. We've gotten a lot of really cool plant items here. Just a variety, you know, anything, all kinds of beautiful gift, gifts that you can get here and a decor. I've got a little pile going of items bathroom section funny bathroom signs hopefully i'm doing this justice mi casa es tu casa that's a really beautiful sign you 
There's their logo, I really like it. It's very mid-century. So we're gonna walk back to the front of the store and I'm going to just talk you through my pop-up rack. So my pop-up rack has been here for approximately three years now. I know it's pre-COVID and um, I try to change it out every season. I try to do four switch-ups, sometimes it's only three. This year, it's only gonna be three. So, um, you know, because I've had been dealing with long COVID, I normally would have changed this out this week, but I just do not have the stamina for this. So every time I change out this pop-up rack, there is a level of labor uh, involved, okay? And I consider it a labor of love because I absolutely love vintage clothing and vintage clothing is my passion. I've said this many times before, I've been wearing vintage clothes out of fashion and not necessity since I was a teenager. So I am passionate about vintage clothing and I know vintage clothing. So um, I'm really happy that I have this, this space here where people can come in and shop the items that I've, you know, that I've curated. So here's some of the shoes. Really fun. I have a lot of 80s and 90s items in here right now. Those, it's really hard to find the older, the older vintage. Um, that requires going to like estate sales and doing buyouts and things like that. And I'm not really doing that at this moment. But there's a really beautiful 60s hound, houndstooth shift dress, which I am shocked hasn't sold. That's the only thing about vintage clothing, you guys. People can love the item, but if it doesn't fit them, what can you do about it, right? That will sell eventually. Paul Frank, very late 90s, early 2000s. So I just want to pan out. I have accessories here. I put as many items as I can put without toppling the rack over. So let me just tell you, it is so amazing to see people shopping my rack. It's just, it's such a beautiful feeling when people are here shopping and going through the items, especially like the younger crowd. And what I mean by that, teenagers, <laughs> you know, teenagers, early 20 folks. Um, it just really makes me feel good that they, that I'm, you know, finding items that they like. This is a personal favorite here. If this fit me, I would have kept this. This is very Chanel. This is a silk blouse, probably from the 80s. Adriana Papel. Now, most of my items are vintage, okay? I try to keep it to true vintage. About 90% of it is authentic vintage, and the rest is going to be contemporary. Sometimes you just have to put in some contemporary pieces because it's impossible to just find all vintage. You know, the market is really saturated right now. Um, that's just the way things are, okay? But I do try to keep it to like 90%. And then anything that's not vintage is vintage inspired. So, and that's not to say that I haven't done contemporary before. I've had contemporary, a full contemporary season before. It's just that right now I am, I'm focusing back on the vintage because, you know, that's just always been a huge passion of mine in life. So I carry men's items too. I love selling men's. Men are so great to sell to. Here's some vintage Wrangler. I have a funny story about how I, when I acquired these, um, they almost didn't want to sell them to me. They were starting to get sentimental. So yeah, this is what my vintage pop-up rack looks like at the Little Shed. Um, it's an honor to have my items here. I've met a lot of great people, a lot of great customers because of it. And um, yeah, it's really been a pleasure. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like because I talk about it so frequently uh, on the channel. Hopefully one day, if you're ever in Southern California, you can pop in and check it out in person. I am running uh, an Instagram drop with some of these items on my Instagram because I am going to be selling more clothes uh, through Instagram for the folks that cannot come in and shop in person. So go ahead and check that out. There are some great items there right now. That's just spruce and gussied. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the shop. Let me know what you think of my pop-up rack. I would love to have uh, feedback from you guys. So again, this is Jenny at Spruce and Gussied and um, we're saying goodbye here from the Little Shed. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.